Warning, the chips that you will see me eat in this video are extremely hot chili chips. Please don't attempt to eat these chips unless you're an experienced chili eater. Well, hello. I'm not sure if you recall, but I did a video about chili chips. I think it was last year, and I showed the brand that you can see on screen at the moment in the video, and they are called Blair's Death Ray, and they are from the USA, and they are in, available in Australia again. They weren't available for the last, I think, six months or so. The person who brings these to me said there was a few little problems going on, I actually emailed the company and I never got a reply, so maybe that's an insight into some of the problems. The video I did became a curious one because on the old packaging it did say America's favourite chips and a lot of Americans actually queried that and a lot of them said, hey, we've never seen this brand before, remembering that the bulk of my audience is from the USA. In the last video I did, I did look at the Buffalo Wing, which has a medium hot rating. I also looked at the Jalapeno Cheddar, which has also got a medium hot rating. And now in Australia there is the Habanero Pepper, which has got a Oh My God rating. And I have watched videos on YouTube of people struggling to eat those chips. They are super hot. But there is another one which is even hotter. And I'm going to try and attempt to eat these chips in this video. So here's the hottest offering that I can get. It's called Holokia Pepper, or is it Jalokia Pepper? I was warned when I bought these that these are extremely hot. The shop owner told me that another person in the shop had tried these, he got into the second chip and he was running to try and get relief. That's how hot they are. I'm going to try and eat these, there are warnings all over the bags. It's got a very interesting rating of what the fudge. And hopefully if you enjoy intense food and intense heat in food, this is going to satisfy you. I know a lot of people were very disappointed with what's on sale in Australia. There was a lot of really weak chili flavoured chips and I know that these chips will always satisfy people who like hot, hot chili food. And just remember, eating extremely hot things can get some people into trouble. So just on the side, I've got some vanilla yogurt, and that's going to quell the heat out of my mouth if I'm in serious pain. Well, let's take a look inside these super hot chips. I have no commercial connection to this company. I'm going to make this very clear in this video. People are going to say to me, if I get the bag up, that I'm doing paid placement here. I am not. Holy mackerel. Look at the colour of these. That is from another planet. Oh man. Okay, let me get the camera set up and I'm going to try and eat these. Just looking at it, it's making me hot. Okay, well here I am. Here are the chips and I purchased these from a shop down the road for me called the Confectionery Hub. Those people have been very helpful in getting me anything to do with lollies. They are people in the lolly industry in Australia and they put me onto these chips. We've had some very long chats about this product over the last, I suppose, year. The aroma of these is intense. Um, I'm trying to delay this because I know I'm going to get in pain here. But I better do it. Here we go. I first got into hot food when I went to Thailand, oh man, and I asked for a dish there that was the hottest that they could serve, and they had chili oil all over it, all over it. and um, I, I nearly didn't walk out of that restaurant, I was in so much pain, and an interesting pain because I enjoyed it so much. That's one chip down, here's the second chip, I'm telling you this is hot man, this is satisfying. Mmm. Mmm. This is very nice. Well, I got past, past two ships. I can feel myself breathing heavy. <laughs> Man, I'm not a drinker or a smoker, but um, this is my little, um, what do you call it, vice in life. Chili chips. Mmm. Number three, oh, these are fantastic. Oh man, and uh, my wife can cook some very, very hot food as well. And that's why I've become very accustomed to very hot chili food. But this is, <laughs> I know she, she would love these. I think this is number four, I'm starting to lose count. Mmm. I can feel my whole body warming up. <laughs> I'll be eating these during winter. <laughs> Man, 
These are fantastic. I've actually got a friend up in Queensland who owns a chili farm and his name's Jim. And we work together. And um, he sort of also introduced me to the fascinating world of chilies and, and, their, and their various heats. I'm telling you guys, my mouth is on fire. And um, I think that's number five, is it? <laughs> number five. Mmm. Um, it's hard to put words into the enjoyment I'm having here. I'm in pain as well. <laughs> I'm starting to, it's really starting to take me out. <laughs> I'm just going for number six. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Oh, man. This is intense. This is so intense. Can I get another one in? I've got to. Oh, we can do it. We can do it together. Mmm. <coughs> man, oh man. These are very, very nice chips. If you're into hot stuff, this is going to really make your day. Doing another one, why not? Let's be dangerous. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> I'm number seven, but what I'll say is, look, after seven chips, I'm completely satisfied. In fact, after four, I mean, I paid five dollars for this bag, and I live in Australia. And I'll we'll put it this way: you're going to need a couple of chips, and you're satisfied. It's a little bit like buying chocolate, which has got a high cocoa percentage. You only need a couple of small pieces, and you get your hit, <sighs> mate. They are top, top, top chips. Absolutely stunning, oh, man. I think you've seen enough of me. Hugging the chips, I don't think I could really eat any more. My mouth is completely on fire. <sighs> Very satisfying. And I hope Blairs can get back to me by email because hopefully I've done a little video which enhances their product. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, you've got no idea how warm they are. No idea. It's painful, but it's great. Maybe for a close up around my eyes area, you'll see what the chili has done to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I got through seven. Maybe if you can show me, if you can eat more than seven, you can put it up as a video response to this video. I'll accept it. If you've done more than seven, you've done far better than me. I'm surprised I can even still talk. Anyway, I better let this video go. Enjoy chili chips. If you're a really sinister, you could put one of these hyper hot chili chips into a bowl of, I don't know, other chips or normal chili chips and set up a little prank. And someone might just see that as an overcooked chip. Next thing you see, they're jumping up and down trying to cool themselves. But don't tell anyone you got that from me. I was just doing a thumbnail image for this video and I noticed down at the bottom of the bag, there's all the seasoning in there and because I had it on my hands and all before like it comes out there and if you leave that on your hands and let's say you don't wash your hands I think you've got a flavor hit for the rest of the week that's how strong it is it puts a new edge on the term finger licking good well it's been about half an hour since I ate those chips and I am still in pain but it's a good pain it's a pain that uh, chili lovers enjoy very very good chips Thanks for watching and just be very careful if you're going to have a nibble of these fantastic potato chips.